Hey y'all, beautiful day in the 70s. I've looked at my 10 day forecast and things are looking pretty good. And I'm in sore need of up hot and a few things. Um, especially the, the thyme and sage in this one and the rosemary and parsley in this one. And um, I've got the catnip over there I need to put up into a bigger pot. And then down over here, I've got some elephant ears, purple elephant ears that I need to uh, pot up and see if they're going to come up again this year. So I think I've got everything set up here. Now the sage, I'm just going to clear a spot in this one here, add a little bit more soil to it. And, and just go ahead and plant the sage in here with the other. Um, there we go. So I've made a little spot over here in this side, uh, in this little corner here. And I'm just going to take this, and these are real easy, just stick your finger underneath and, and push it up. And then I'm just going to slip those in there and put a little bit more soil around them. Make sure I push them down a little bit. And there's, and there's my sage. Let me stick that over here to the side. I'll, ha I'll water everything in real good after I finish doing some of the up potting. Now the bee balm, I've actually got some over there in a little pot. But I was going to move that one out of that pot anyhow. So I'm just going to take the bee balm and put it in one of these little four inch pots for now. Give a little bit more room. To, to grow and then I'll figure out a pot. I've got several big old pots around here. Stick that in there and put some more soil around it. Now I may end up growing uh, plenty some more seeds of the of the thyme. Well, that was time, not the lemon balm. I'm doing really good here. Here's the, the bee balm right here in this one. And I'm going to put it in one of these little four inch pots too. I get busy doing something and, and, and lose track of where I am. So, stick that tag down there. I'm trying not to disturb my Greek oregano that I re-sewed in this one. Getting the other one out. There we go. A little bit more soil in there. And there's the bee balm all set ready for watering. Now this one here, I'm going to go ahead and put some more soil in these little squares here because you never can tell when I'm going to go ahead and get a, a wild hare to go ahead and plant another little seedling of some sort. But this one's going to go back in my greenhouse and wait for that oregano to come up. Now, the rosemary, I decided to put in this slightly bigger one here. And this was actually destined for a daughter-in-law. But my rosemary bit the dust. So I've got to decide whether I want to grow some more rosemary, go buy another plant, and go ahead and give this to my daughter-in-law, or what I want to do. So I'll go ahead and up pot this while I'm deciding too. <laughs> there we go. And this last little pot here is for this uh, parsley the, that I was growing for 
for her, for my daughter-in-law. Okay, and there's that one. And I'll just set this one aside because I don't have anything in mind to put in it right now. Now, over here, I've got, this is my catnip, and it really needs a bigger pot. So, I've got a bigger pot. <laughs> and, we put a little bit more soil in that one. Gonna put my hands on the top of it there and it'll slide right out. And the roots don't look too bad, but I'm still gonna loosen just a tiny bit here on the bottom. Stick that there and and then add some more soil to around it. And then this catnip will be good for probably a couple of years like this. over here so I can make sure I'm not covering stuff up. There we go. Okay. This one's all set to be watered in real good too. And then my last one here are these little elephant ears. I dug them last year. And generally, elephant ears have a bulb on the bottom. This one didn't. So I'm not sure it's going to, it's going to come back. So I'll just, um, I'm gonna take off some of these old roots here. And I've got a pot down over here. And they feel really crinkly, crinkly and crunchy, and I'm just not sure that they're going to that they're going to come back. In fact, you know what? Instead of wasting time doing that, I think what I'm going to do is clean them all off, and I'm going to put them in um, a thing of water in the house and see if they rehydrate any. And that way, I'll know whether or not I should waste my time planting them. I'm not sure exactly what happened with these because like I said, normally they have a big bulb on the bottom that um, you dig up in the winter time. And they wouldn't have survived that hard freeze anyhow. So. So let me get these into a little container. And then I'll add some water to them and see if, if they are going to rehydrate and actually produce anything. And that's about it for the up potting right now. Um, I'm going to get my water, uh, my water jug and, and water everything in real good. And part of these will stay in the greenhouse. Um, I'm not ready to put them out yet. And um, part of them all. I'll set out among my garden and let them get more sun. Anyway, if you like this video and uh, give it a big thumbs up. And if uh, you haven't subscribed, please do share the video around. Help me grow my channel. And I'll talk to everybody later.